What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I first want to say that there are only eight days left to enter to win this truck, so you might not want to sit around too much. And yes, every five dollars is two entries to win. USA and Canada is eligible, all 50 states. On a side note, in case you're wondering, yes, I cover the cost to get the truck to your driveway. Whether I have to buy you a plane ticket, you want to drive out here and trailer back, you want to drive out here, drive it back with a buddy, that is totally up to you. However, whatever it costs you to get this truck there and back, I make sure you have the funds beforehand to make sure you can get this truck without having to fork out a bunch of money to get it to your driveway. I will take care of that for you guys, but anyways, let's get into the video talking about the second gen swap. Okay, so we've got a 2007 5.9 here, of course, so a lot of you guys follow the channel every single day and you see all the content, and then there's people that kind of are new, obviously, where they're not subscribed and so they're not completely up to date. So this truck is actually, like I said, just a little bit of go. It's a it's a giveaway truck. We're giving this truck away to one of you guys, and all you have to do, go grab some gear on the website, check out, you're automatically entered to win. And the giveaway ends September 1st. So let's get under the hood here and show you what we're actually reviewing. So we're gonna be testing the drivability of this truck today. And I wanna go over the drivability, the responsiveness of this truck, the way that it's set up now. Running a high mount second gen swap kit from Worley Custom Fab. We got an S463 turbo, we've got a Shorty downpipe that hooks up to the downpipe on the kit that was already on the truck. So whatever kits that you get aftermarket wise to mount up to that factory turbo, this downpipe will mount right up to that and it makes it so much easier. Like I cannot stress that enough how much better that part of this kit is compared to any other kit that I've even looked at online. I mean just way, way, way better. Of course we got the Worldly Custom Fab badge on it, all that cool stuff. But the real thing you guys want to know is how this thing runs, how this thing drives, and that's what we're gonna be going over today. And yes, we're running a steed speed manifold. It is flipped upside down to be able to run this turbo high like that, so where you can actually fit this all in here a lot easier. And then in terms of the EGT gauge, that piece that mounts into the manifold itself is actually mounted up underneath. It's still all the way back where you would normally do it between like cylinders four and five, but it is, you know, up underneath back there. So anyways, we are going to go get this truck started up down the road and kind of review the drivability of it. Something else that I want to go over. This truck, we're not done with it now. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing here just so you guys can know since we are down to the last like eight days of this giveaway. I want you guys to know what all is going to be done to this truck because I know there was a lot of people saying, dude, you need head studs, you need a you need a lift pump, you need tuning, or you know, you got to make sure that truck can fully perform. And as soon as I got those comments, I made a phone call. I'm like, hey, I'm getting a bunch of people saying this. So I want to know for sure, is this something that I really need? He said, they're absolutely right. He's like, let's get a fast put on there. Let's get some head studs thrown in there, some ARP head studs. He's like, and then let's get some tuning done to it. And he's like, we know how to tune trucks. You get a lot of power out of them. He's like, so we're going to make sure that the thing's done right so that whoever gets this truck has just a beast of a truck and they don't have to worry about, you know, popping the head on it or blowing the transmission because we've got a stage five built trans in there now. You know, the tuning's good. It's not over fueling, not under fueling, all that kind of stuff. They really know their crap. So I'm going to take the truck up there actually today and drop it off for that. But let's go and do a drive on our way there and kind of get you my feedback on the drivability of this truck. In terms of tuning, I don't know exactly what company we're going with in terms of the tuner and tuning stuff itself. I do know that the guys over there though, they're gonna give me whatever is the absolute best stuff they always do. They always recommend the best and that's all they do. In terms of a lift pump, I know they're gonna do a fast. What model, I don't recall. To tearing this down and done within the next couple days so you get to take home an extremely nice well done truck. And I said that this truck was gonna be, you know, this truck plus about $15,000 for the work it's gonna be more like $20,000 worth of work. You're getting a stage five transmission. You're getting a second gen swap kit. You're getting all aftermarket headlights, aftermarket taillights, grill, wheels and tires, front leveling kit. You're getting, you know, professional tune. You're getting head studs. You're getting a lift palm. And I mean, just a whole bunch of stuff. You guys are getting a beast of a truck. Let's get into this drive. switch cameras and grab my old camera which is now my wife's camera because my camera decided to die as soon as I started filming my video so I had to swing back by the house swap out cameras and I want to show you just kind of like an acceleration pull with this truck with the s463 and the built transmission as you will note the rpm and the boost and the exhaust temperature readings are all actually really good like this turbo surprisingly on completely stock fueling with no tuning or lift pump or anything or injectors 
is actually surprisingly pretty responsive. Now, of course, it's not quite as responsive at the first initial, you know, shift, like getting up and going, but for the most part, I'm like, it's doing really good for the way it is. Get moving here, this will focus. And then right about there, It's a sweet spot, and of course the exhaust temperature readings don't go over a thousand. It didn't take forever to get boost. It runs good, sounds good, um, and it uh, it gets going down the road. I wish I could show it all, but whenever I do this to try to get everything in, it blurs out. So I'm gonna have to just focus on pretty much the pretty much just the gauge cluster down here behind the steering wheel because it kind of otherwise you won't be able to see anything. But you can still get an idea of how it gets up and goes by looking at the miles per hour. We're at 15 pounds of boost, 20 pounds of boost, 22 pounds of boost. For the most part, I mean, it drives good, really good. I love the sound of it. It sounds way, way different. This truck does not sound the same. I'm actually very, very impressed. Do we have here the old nasty red finally back? Man, I ain't used to the second gen steering anymore. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's hilarious. So, we did just drop off the third gen, it's getting a bunch of goodies put in, and it's gonna be freaking amazing when we get it back however we did get nasty red back from the shop it was there for a long time now why was it there so long well my dad made the mistake of basically saying it's not a daily driver take your time I don't need it back ASAP so it wasn't really like a top priority vehicle at the shop but we did get it back finally and luckily he hasn't really needed it why it was at the shop so long really has nothing to do with what got done it was just because of, you know, they were shorthanded, they had people, you know, quit and stuff like that. And so it's like they have all this stuff to do and not much time to do it. However, the third gen, I told them it was like a top priority thing and I needed the truck done within a week. So they said, on it, we'll get it done. Don't worry about it. It'll be perfect. Good as, you know, everything will be perfect when you get it back. And I'm like, just what I wanted to hear. So we've got Nasty Red back here, no grill. It's not a new style or a new trend, we just, ours broke off. Anyways, we've got Nasty Red here and I wanna go over basically some of the stuff that they just did to the truck, why they did it. Yeah, let's get into that. First and foremost, let's start off here with the FAS fuel system because why not? We wanted a FAS and they are huge supporters of FAS and they said that they thought this would be an excellent fuel setup for this truck. Um, truck is probably pushing between five and 600 horsepower and they just said, you know, a P-pump will do fine, but that's kind of like the max power a P-pump can handle with all the proper modifications, you know, between AFC adjustments, governor springs, delivery valves, like all that stuff, you know, everything's said and done. It's 500 horsepower still, I mean, you're milking a P-pump even at that rate. A factory P-pump at least, so we wanted to get a fuel system on there to make sure we have adequate fuel pressure i think we also got what did he do they said he said that they did something with i don't remember if it was radiator or intercooler i can't I don't, I don't remember let's check into the hood they did also put the new radiator in there they were going to do afc live and my dad was going to have him install that but then he was like you know what just hold off on that for now if i decide i want it in you know however many months I'll let you know, I'll bring it back, something like that. I'll drive the truck and see how I like it the way it is. And you know, until that point though, basically just, you know, leave it alone for now. It's been so long since he dropped it off that I can't remember what all he was getting done to the truck. All I know is that the truck needed a lift pump and it needed a new radiator because he had a radiator leak down low. And so he said that he's having issues with that. And so, you know, they said, well, 
bring it in. We'll swap it out, get a new one put in. So that's what they did. Overall, the truck drives great. The only problem that I have with this truck is the idle is set so low now. And I remember when I took it to get the transmission built, they set the idle down low, but it wasn't that low. And somehow between that time, which was over a year and a half ago now, and now it idles at like 300 RPM or less. And so you're like fighting the truck to keep it running, which sucks because like you have to constantly use your brakes just a little bit, like when you're at lights and stuff. So you can basically make sure the truck doesn't obviously keep, you know, momentum rolling into a light or something. But if you stop, the idle obviously in drive or reverse goes so much lower that it really wants to keep, like it wants to stall the truck out. So basically you have to keep your foot on it and keep it at about 600 RPM and it, you know, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but if it gets past, you know, 300 it just starts getting shaky and shuts off which is obviously just a very minor adjustment there's a little bit of a there's a small nut on top of the you know linkage down there for the throttle linkage itself and if you just adjust that a little bit and retighten it down you can bump your idle up within you know five minutes so it's not really that big of a deal back in business we do actually have a few things that we're going to be doing to this truck dad would like to get different mirrors on the truck he doesn't like the paint matched mirrors it just didn't turn out how he thought it would so he wants to get the mirrors taken off the truck and he wants to put fourth gen style mirrors on it which i don't blame him i like the look of those he just thought that the paint match mirror thing was going to look better it just didn't turn out how he likes it and if it doesn't look good to him being his truck he should probably get it changed so we're probably going to do the mirrors on this truck and the grill just kind of broke off like i said so we're going to be getting a new grill for the truck something that doesn't have broken brackets on it anymore hopefully you enjoyed this video getting a little bit of a reveal of nasty red back to the channel after so freaking long it seems like literally forever in terms of the third gen remember you guys have only shoot i think it's only like eight days left or seven or eight days left to enter to win that truck and then it is gone it is out the window so make sure you enter every five dollars two entries to win and that time is running out thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next video peace